In this video, I'm going to show you five methods for writing effective base patterns. Let's jump into it. Real quick, I have a huge X for Serum preset pack in the making right now. This pack has some of the most vibrant, futuristic sounds I've ever put into a preset pack. That pack will be out in mid-February, but you could try the free version of it right now. Daydream is available at the top of the description below. It has 20 of the most inspirational serum presets you've ever heard. Grab it at the end of this video. It's not going anywhere. Let's get back to the tutorial. Method number one is to use the bottom note of your chord pattern because it will always work as a bass pattern. Here's my chords. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to take the bottom notes of these chords and I'm going to go to a new instrument layer and paste them. I'm going to grab a nice bass sound that matches the energy of the chords like that one and we'll get this sound. That type of bass is called a re bass, and those type of basses always work. Method number two, try a noted rhythm. I like using noted rhythms for breakdowns of my songs or just as a simple placeholder bass line. Noted rhythms are when we take any amount of note triggers that always land perfectly on beat. So I'm going to do a 1 8 noted rhythm, and that's when we have two notes per beat. So these lines here represent beats, and I'm gonna have two bass notes, or bass triggers, in between each of those beats. <laughs> Four on the floor drum patterns, or in other words, house drum patterns work pretty well with noted rhythms. Nice. That sounds cool. That sounds really cool. Next method, try a dotted rhythm. I like using dotted rhythms for more funky or dancey beats. For this example, I'm going to use a set of chords that are a bit more hype and dancey. And I'm just going to do the same thing and grab the root note of each of these chords, which will always work as your bass line. So now that I have the correct melody, I can create a new instrument and put this melody down. For this bass sound, we're not going to use that. I'm going to create a square wave, slide envelope 2 to the cutoff knob, turn on the filter, tighten it up a bit, pull down the sustain knob, and we should get this sound. Now that we have a nice sound, we can start creating our dotted eighth note rhythm. And the way dotted rhythms work is that they don't land perfectly on every beat. So before, our noted rhythm had two notes and it always landed perfectly on grid. But for this one, we're going to do notes that are three tick marks long. Right here, we're not going to land perfectly on grid, so I'm just going to shorten that to resolve the rhythm. Then we're going to start over again and do the same thing. I'm going to select these and add some swing, because swinging your dotted rhythms adds a whole new dynamic to them. This next method you could do with any type of bass line, whether it's a dotted rhythm, noted rhythm, or just any type of rhythm at all. And that is to add little ear candy notes at the end of each note to help you transfer to the next bass note. So I could take this. See how it just makes the bass line come alive? 
That's so nice. This final method will not only improve your bass patterns, but will improve every angle of your music production game. I teach this concept heavily in my music production bootcamp course, and it is proven over and over again to increase the skill of my students. And this is the concept of drafting. Drafting is when you take your main melody that drives your song. So here's my main melody. And what I do is I write three to five articulations of the bass pattern to see what one that I like the best. And I also use different sounds for each pattern. Here's a Reese bass that usually always works. Let's try an 808 pattern. I like the pickup in the energy. Here's an eighth note rhythm. <laughs> I really like that and I feel like I could use that in the build up or breakdown of this song. But I think I'm going to stick with that full sound of the Reese bass. There's your five methods for bass patterns. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you would like to learn more about every element of music production, or send me as much of your music as you would like for unlimited track feedback, come join me in my music production bootcamp. The link is at the top of the description below. And I'll see you in the next video.